Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In case you're new, my name is Monica. I am a mother of three, a fifth grade teacher, and honestly, this channel is about me and all my life, my hobby, and everything that I go through. And so I have a range of content from hobbies to family to um, my career. And so if you are interested and would like to be a part of this channel, feel free to like this video and subscribe. For today's video, I am sharing with you guys one of my hobbies. One of my new hobbies has been being a, becoming a plant mom slash a gardener. I don't really like know how to explain it, but basically I have my own little garden in the backyard as well as a bunch of house plants. And today I'm gonna be repotting them. So in this video, you guys, I'm basically just sharing you guys, showing you guys me repotting my plants. I have a little area in my in my living room where I place all my plants, and I honestly don't know all the names of them, but Generally, um, they're all indoor plants, but I'm basically going to be repotting and removing some. Um, a couple weeks ago, I placed them outside for like a few, it was supposed to be like a five minute like little sunbathe session and I accidentally left them way longer and some of my leaves got burnt. And so I have been trying to recover and heal those plants. Um, on top of that, my, t my, um, my baby, it tends to like go and shake my my stand and so a lot of my plants leaves are falling and they're just kind of unhealthy so I'm gonna go through and kind of just clean up my plants repot and if they are a plant that's like suffering I'm honestly just going to like probably relocate it into a different area so that I can try to recover it but honestly um, I don't know I'm just gonna be dealing with my plants and documenting it and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions feel free to let me know down below and let's go ahead and get started
All right, you guys, I have finished. I have no idea how long it took, but I honestly just enjoyed it. I was watching YouTube um, while I repotted all my plants. I kind of refreshed them. Um, not all of them needed new soil, so if they didn't, I just kind of like massaged the soil, cleaned out the roots, and maybe just added some more soil on top. Um, the last the last plants I showed you are my propagated plants. If you don't know, propagation is basically where you have a water, I mean, have a plant in water growing its roots before you plant it. And I actually have already planted one. And it's actually one that's like, I noticed not growing. And so what I was thinking like maybe I need to like either put it back in water or get rid of it. But when I looked at the roots, the roots look really good. So I, I decided to just repot it and leave it. Um, some of my plants don't have a pot or they're in a pot that's too small. So I think I'm actually going to head to at home, which is a like home goods type of store and find me a couple cheap, affordable, um, pots. Um, I'm not trying to go too crazy cause I've already bought four new plants today. So I think I might just go look at all my plants and take a picture. So I know the size of the pots that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to just re-put them in a pot because one of the plants that are kind of like trying to, it's in a curing process, like I'm trying to get it healthy, um, it doesn't have a pot. And the reason I need a pot is because um, it has holes in the, body, in the bottom for drainage and so when I water them, the water is just going to come out. So I need to find a pot for it and I wasn't, I don't know. So um, I'll probably bring you guys along with me as I go out to look for some pots. Um, but I really just enjoyed this type of video. Um, I, I think as I was repotting, my battery got exhausted, which just means it overheated from being on so long. Um, I probably had a really long clip and it turned off and for a while I couldn't get it to turn back on. Um, the battery wasn't dead. It was just overheated. So I'm not sure how much of my repotting process I got to record, but I will see when I edit this. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I definitely did. Um, if you have any questions about the plants I have or where I get my plants or any of those type of questions, feel free to leave it down below. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So this is the one that I had one of my plants in, but it was like too, the plant was too big. This pot was a little too small. So I think this one's bigger. Okay, these are just so cute. I literally am thinking about repropagating or just putting my propagated plants in these. Something that I love about my indoor plants is like my pots express the fun side of me. So I'm not like super picky on matching anything. I love the color when it comes to my, my plant pots or my planting pots. And so it makes me excited to like find new ones because I love getting different colors. Um, I think one of these pink ones is similar to another pink one, but other than that, well, like pink's my favorite color, so I don't care. But like, I love getting like just random colored type of like themes and vibes because it's cute. Um, and everything else in my house, I feel like it's pretty boring. <laughs> so with my, co my coffee pods, <laughs> with my planting pots, I feel like it's very more, like more exciting and fun. So I really love all of them. I only spent 40 bucks, which kind of is a lot, especially when I was supposed to go for two. But you guys see how cute they are. Like, how could I just get two? That was kind of hard. And I feel like one I might have to return. We'll see how my aloe plant fits. But I will show you guys once I get home, and then you guys will see.